Hi everybody, this is Charles. I just wanted to show you a feature that we uh, just released today. Um, it's automatic shot composition. So if you add a character and then change the shot type, um, it will automatically move the camera and select a lens so that you can create a, a shot type from like a close up to a medium shot. Um, here I have like an extreme long shot. I'm changing the vertical camera angle. You can also move the camera around to the side and then change the shot type. Um, and so that's pretty much automatic. So you can see me changing the uh, vertical angle and the shot type. And then for more complicated scenes, you'll see there's many um, characters in the scene. So it's like really important that you select the, um, the character that is the important uh, character in the shot. So in this case, I'll select that guy and then choose bust and, um, you know, reframe the shot that I want. There's still some bugs. Um, you know, we're, we're going to make it so that the automatic character that's selected, um, when you choose the shot type is, is more logical. Um, the other thing is that, um, you know, if you choose two characters, um, there will be a new option, which will be the over the shoulder shot, which so essentially you just choose two characters, choose over the shoulder left or right, and it'll automatically place the camera so that you get a medium over the shoulder shot. And then you can kind of reframe it as you want. The other thing is, is that um, we are working on automatic framing. So you'll see in some of these automatic shots that um, they, they, the, they're always sort of centered. And what, what we'd rather like is that, the, that they um, have a little bit of leading headroom. Um, and the last thing is, is we're thinking about um, releasing a uh, feature fairly soon called Shot Explorer, where it'll essentially take your scene and then create a new window and generate for you a bunch of just random um, shots. And you can look through those shots and whichever shot you find interesting, um, you can insert back into your scene. So it basically is sort of like an exploration tool just to give you ideas. Um, and if you like those shots, you can use them. Um, anyways, this is, uh, this is the feature. It's, it's live in, in version 1.17 that um, we just released. Uh, and I, I hope you like it. Thanks.